Hey everyone, so it's all already from Abstract Music Lab. Happy 2022. And today we're starting here with a main lead from Beyond Belief by Ben Bomer, and it sounds like this. This is the original. And the recreation. Pretty damn close, I'm really happy with this recreation. And as usual, you can grab it here, the preset and the MIDI here in the description below. And if you like the video, you can hit the like button. If you love it, you can hit the subscribe. And as usual, leave me in the comment section, let me know if you like this tutorial or if you want any other recreations to be done here in the channel as well. As usual, if you want to support this channel, you can buy me a coffee or you can also buy my preset pack available here in the top right corner or in here in the description below. But enough with the talking and let's get started here with the sound design. It's gonna be a really simple sound design. We're gonna use an external EQ in the end, but mainly everything is gonna be done in Serum. So starting here at Serum, we're gonna choose here a basic MIDI. And I'm gonna show you after we complete the preset, what is the difference between the basic MIDI and the main saw. But basically it's gonna make the sound a bit more analog and it feels a little bit better to the sound. So. We're going to start by putting the octaves one octave down. The level is going to go at 89% and it sounds like this. Now we're going to start here with envelope one. Envelope one, we're going to put the decay here to 5.14 seconds. 5.14, there you go. The sustain to point minus 0.15. There you go the release to 2.4 seconds. There you go. And it sounds like this. But it sounds horrible and we need to activate this mono over here. Now activating the mono. Perfect. Now with the filter, we're gonna start here with a MG low six. We're gonna choose just A. We're gonna start the cutoff at nine hertz. There you go, nine hertz. We're gonna use the envelope over here to modulate the sound in 98. Now we're gonna put the resonance at 16 and the drive at 31 and the fat at 29. Because this is going to make the sound a bit louder, I'm gonna put the master down to 60%. You can see that it creates this wow, wow in the end of the sound, which is what we want. Now we're gonna go into the effects section and we, in the effects section, we're gonna start with another filter. And you might ask me why another filter? Now we're gonna do something else with the filter. So we're gonna start now with the MG low 24. We're gonna put the cutoff all the way down to eight. We're gonna put the resonance to zero and the drive to 31. You're gonna use this envelope over here up to 69. You're gonna see it sounds a bit louder, so we're actually putting the sound a bit more quieter over here. And we're also using, you can see that it still doesn't have the attack that we want. It needs more attack. So we're going here to envelope number two. In envelope number two, what you're doing is we're putting here the decay to 737. There you go. The sustain is going to go all the way down to zero. The release is going to go at 15. And this handle over here is going to go a little like this. Quite, if you think about it, a bit above the number one over here. And this is going to modulate envelope two at 18. You can see that it creates the attack of the sound that we want. Without, with. Perfect. Now, what we're going to do here, we're going to start with an EQ. In the EQ, we're going to choose here a low cut and a high shelf. A low cut is going to be at 80 hertz. The Q is going to be at 39. And the high shelf, it's going to be at 1030 hertz. Something like this. Bam. The Q is going to be at 40% and the gain is going to be at zero. And you might ask me why you want to keep the gain at zero. You're going to use this gain afterwards with the velocity over here. Lastly, we need a delay and a reverb, but the reverb comes first. Let me deactivate the delay. 
the reverb over here, we're gonna start the wet at 43%. The spin and depth is going to go all the way down to zero. The high cut is going to go to 57. You can see it has a lot of low end, which is why we're using the low cut at 62. Now the decay at 7.5. We only need the delay right now, so a delay. In the delay, what we're gonna do is we're gonna choose both to one eighth dot. And is it one eighth dot? Yes, it is one eighth dot. You can see it here in the video where Ben Bomer showcases this track entirely. So basically you're gonna start with this one. Frequency, we're gonna put at 924. There you go. The Q is going to go at 1.8, which is all the way down here. And the mix is going to go to 33%. We also have to choose ping pong, and this is up to you. I like how it sounds with ping pong, but I feel it opens up the sound a little bit, and I feel that Ben is doing something between normal and ping pong, okay? So I'm gonna stick with the ping pong over here. Now, lastly, we need to use the velocity over here. And what are you doing with the velocity? So over here, we're gonna put this velocity right at the 75 marker over here. And we're putting the, the velocity here in the gain, at 10, we're gonna press Alt Shift to be one directional and this. Why are we doing this? So if you can see it here in the midis, they have different velocities. So basically the notes that have higher velocities, they're gonna play a little bit brighter than the notes that don't have bigger velocity. And also what we're doing is, you know, remember this envelope two modulation, we're gonna go to the matrix, this envelope two modulation, we're gonna pick the velocity and put it as an auxiliary source. So basically what this means is that this node over here is going to play with less of this modulation. It's going to be at 39%, something like this. And this one is gonna play with a lot more modulation. Basically that's what we're doing with the auxiliary source. And this is how it sounds like. You can see that the brightest node over here plays a little bit higher also with the cutoff but also it sounds brighter. Cool. But if we compare it to the original, the original still has a little bit more of mid highs and that's what we're using this EQ over here for. So we're gonna close Serum for now. In the EQ, what we're gonna do is we're gonna pick any handle. We're gonna go to 2400 Hertz. We're gonna do a 2.11 boost with the Q of 0.52. And this is how it sounds like. Without it. You can see it opens up the mid highs a little bit. This is something between the mids and the highs and that's why I'm calling it mid highs. And that's it. Let me just adjust the volume over here. This should be something around minus 18. Lastly, one thing that I forgot to mention is what it would be if it was a, only a sawtooth. And listen to the original. Now with a sawtooth. You can see that it has a little bit more of attack, especially a little bit more of resonance in the sound. And now the basic mini. So that's why I use a basic mini. It's a bit more control as the sound of Beyond Belize, which I know that he used Diva for that. So basically that's it. As usual, if you liked the video, hit the like button. If you loved it, hit the subscribe and I see you in the next abstract video next week. Ciao.